All right, well, it is extremely cold. Temperatures have really fallen off like a very heavy rock, and it's getting colder as we speak. 12 below right now. Wind is at 9 miles per hour, and that's out at Hector. 9 below in Moorhead feels like 30 below zero. Any exposed flesh can freeze within 15 to 30 minutes at wind chill values this low. So bundle up and pack that survival kit in your vehicle. No matter how far you're going, you'll want to make sure you do that. Hey, let's take a gander at our almanac, and it shows us that record lows are around that 30 to 35 below for most days over the next few. We'll be challenging that. Just a hint uh, after a high today of 10 degrees above, by the way, your 34 additional seconds of sunlight today. Not paying off in big dividends tonight. 18 below in Langdon, 12 below Devil's Lake. A 6 below reading right now in Jamestown. Warmer air to the south and west thanks to a few high clouds starting to punch in there. Look at this. That cold sinking all the way south. Fergus Falls 11 below. It is 6 below for Babe the Blue Ox in Bemidji. Wind chills right now approaching 40. That's right, 4-0 below in Langdon. So dangerous cold out there. Overnight tonight, air temperatures will continue to fall. I think our wind speeds will be fairly persistent as well. Regional temperatures are warmer to the south and west, but there's snow and clouds out in this direction. So our southern and western counties here where we see the clouds encroaching We'll have the best chance at capping off some of this rapid rate of cooling. Here's your hour by hour forecast, and it's not pretty, folks. When you exhale, you walk into a wall, and there'll be some flakes flying out west and south in the morning. Temperatures to start your day will be between 10 and 20 below in many locations. And this is actual air temperature. Factor in the wind, we'll have numerous areas with those 30 to 40 below wind chills through the early morning hours. In the first half of the day, the snow band shifts into southern Minnesota. Our southernmost counties may see a little snow, a half inch or so. Temperatures for almost everyone remain below zero for the entirety of the day. Northwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. And once the sun sets, we're really going to get cold on Friday. If you don't think that our temperatures now are really cold, they're going to get there. Here is a look then at what we expect for Fargo tomorrow morning, 15 below with wind chills about 38 below zero. And we will have a seven below high temperature in the afternoon, kind of stuck there, sub zero all day. And we will not rise above zero until next week. So it's something we'll have to get used to. The warmest uh, spots will be in our southwestern counties, 10 below in the afternoon in Thief River Falls, 8 below in Detroit Lakes. A lot of unwarm weather. And take a look at Friday night into Saturday morning as the Arctic air mass starts nudging in. We'll have actual air temperatures in the 30s below. This will be our best chance to set a few record low temperatures in our area. And high temperatures in the afternoon? Come on. Teens to 20 below? Yuck! All right, here's a look at some beautiful things that do come with this uh, uh, ice crystal-y weather, and that's halos around the sun, sun dogs, and light pillars as well. This one taken in North Moorhead. Here's your planning forecast, and just plan for very bitter cold weather, 25 below. Remember your four-legged friends outside. Bring them in if you have room, and if not, make sure they have somewhere warm to escape the nasty wind chills, 29 below in Fargo on Sunday morning. Now, if you're planning on Sunday night activities for New Year's Eve, temperature's not quite as cold, but still pretty brutal, approaching 20 below for New Year's Day morning. You may want to wear a snowsuit out when you go out on a Sunday night. I recommend as many clothes as you can right? put on. Yeah, yeah. thanks so much. Mm -hmm.